G'day guys, well we're here at the NRCHA Futurity in uh, Fort Worth, Texas and uh, we've just come across a really incredible story which isn't done very often in the reigning cow horse industry. It's done a lot in the cutting and we're joined by Pete Rogan from Tamworth in Australia who took it upon himself to decide, you know what, I'm going to buy a horse and then come and ride it in the Futurity here and uh, Pete's had a hell of a show and congratulations Pete and welcome. Uh, thank you. Don't... Pete, this is a really tough sport. What made you decide you wanted to come and take this challenge on? I used to show cow horses a lot of years ago in Australia when it was active, and I um, really enjoyed it then. And, you know, I enjoy watching them on the live feeds on the web and stuff, and I thought, well, I learned more about this. This will probably help me more with my sale horses and stuff back home than if I came and rode some cutting horses for a while. Help me get them more broke and make them more marketable to the camp draft market back home which is mostly what I get to do with my horses through lack of time. I just get start a colt and train them up a little bit and sell them and go from there. So, and so You're a non-professional, so that means you've got to, you know, you've got to own the horse that you, that you compete on. So how did you do your research on finding a horse? Uh, I'd met Annie Reynolds last year and knew um, what a long-time breeder she had been of these very smart remedy line of horses and right back to her old foundation mares knew what an incredible line of horses they were and how successful Annie had been as a, a non-pro and um, yeah when I met Annie we talked about things a bit and you know I said to her I'd like to have a go at a futurity horse some stage would you be interested in training one for me and you know if I bought one from you and helped me with it and she said yeah and it went from there. So when did you come over how long ago did you come over? I flew in on the 29th of August and um, yeah did the deal with Annie then and bought the mare after I got here and tried her, I'd seen some videos of her, of course, but yeah, we finalised the deal then and it went from there. I've been trying to learn how to catch ride since. <laughs> well, well, tell me about the competition and the standard. How, how, uh, how's it been and how's it felt? No, it's been a really high standard. The, the standard in the non-pro was probably higher than I thought it would be from watching the live feeds and that that I've got to back home. And I think there was three girls in the finals that had all won it multiple times before and yeah, they really know how to show these people over here and in every different phase of it. And uh, I hadn't done any dry work or down the fence for probably close to 30 years and haven't shown cutting horses very much in recent years back home. So, yeah, it, it's been a, a big learning curve for me and I had to adjust to a lot of things quickly. And, you know, Annie kind of said to me a few weeks back, you had a lot to learn when you got here, but you've been learning really quickly. So <laughs> it went from there. And, and what are your plans uh, with the horse? At this stage, I'm thinking that we'll leave her here a bit longer. Um, I'd like to try and show her in the Stain Stakes non-pro and the Derby non-pro and then put her in foal to a, uh, one of the big-time horses here that'll be commercial in Australia and we'll get her out home. We're in a foal off her and um, she'll probably draft for a season or two to get a name for herself out home and we'll go from there with her, start breeding babies. Well, she's got earnings on her already. How much have you won? Uh, I believe it's between eighteen and 19000 on her I won at this show. Oh, that's great, that pays for the airfare. So uh, so what's your advice to anyone else that may want to do something like this? I think it would be a lot of fun for, you know, camp drafters could have a go at it, but they'd have an awful lot to learn about the dry work and probably the herd work too. And, um, yeah, it, it's more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, after going through this competition, it's extremely hard on the horses, these three-year-old horses, to be good in all three phases and just... Physically, it's really strenuous for them come finals day, doing it all three in one day, and I really have a new appreciation of how good these horses are and how tough it is for them. Right, and uh, would you say, what were some of the skills you learnt um, from working with these horses and with Annie? Just about getting these horses so relaxed, getting their head and neck down low. Um, Annie's really kind to her horses, really loves her horses, and I never saw any... You know what people back home would call hard people being hard with horses or anything it's just getting them really relaxed and um yeah they can't do this job if they're not relaxed and confident in everything that they're doing and just getting them so broke just soft in their face getting their backs up and yeah they've got to know an awful lot of stuff to do the three different events and and the events don't always help each other yeah. kind of the skills that you need for dry work are a little bit counterproductive in some ways when you come to working a cow and yeah and uh, and so how long are you leaving flying out tomorrow we fly out monday night um yeah get straight back to work back at tamworth and 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back on some horses as soon as I got home. I've got a couple of nice colts to start and yeah, we'll go from there. Well, that's good. Well, the, the final of the actual Open is about to start, so the anticipation's pretty uh, strong here. And uh, Todd Bergen's got three in the final. We've got Justin Wright's got two. Corey Cushing's got two. It's going to be a great night, and uh, it, it's really full of anticipation. So congratulations, and thanks for joining us, and hopefully we'll see you next year. Thank you very much, Duncan. Really.